Hi there. Today I want to show a cute, a cool technique that I saw on Instagram, and it is to make a um, partial die cut window in the front of your card. So if you can see from this card, um, I'm going to try to bring it up really close, but the for you at the bottom is um, continuous with the card front. It is not glued on top. I don't know if that's if you're able to pick that up on the video or not, maybe from the back. But do you see how it's just part of the card front? Um, all of the flowers are die cut and glued. but And you can even see because that flower tucks in behind there. Um, but the for you is just part of the framed opening in the front of the card. And the way this card would open is you've got that pretty paper um, visible from the front but then I've got a little flap here where you can open it up and write your message underneath and then that way you don't see the message through the window. So let's take a look at how to do this. I'm starting with a piece of the thick basic white and I'm just taking the largest square from the stylish shapes. You could do this with really any shape that has a flat edge um, and I'm just eyeballing this, but you could measure it if you wanted to, but I'm just kind of eyeballing that to put it in the center of the card front. And then I'm just going to make a little pencil line, very light, along that bottom edge of, of that square, so I can see where that bottom edge is going to be. Now, the die that cuts the for you this comes from, let me grab the set. This comes from the Love For You bundle from the mini, just in case anyone's wondering. And there's multiple layers of the For You. I've got the one that is sort of the medium layer. It's not the individual words, but it's the part that nests inside of here as a little shadow. So I'm using that. And I'm just gonna line this up so that it's along the bottom of that pencil line. And you can make as, you know, or as much or as little pop up into the frame as you want. And I'm gonna use a little tape. I'm just using like post-it note tape to hold this in place. And I can still see the pencil line from in there. And then let me zoom out a little bit and bring my, whoops, and bring my stamp and cut and emboss machine into the frame. And what I want to do is, there's my other plate, there it is, is take my top plate. I'm gonna to try to get this up so you can see it better. I wanna take my top plate and I want, there is a little bevel on our plates. So the, the thickest part of the plate is right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. And then it tapers off at the very end of the plate. So I kinda of try to see where the thick part of the plate is. And it makes, this sounds complicated, but it's really not. Um, and I'm just gonna line up the edge of the plate with the pencil line. And it's hard to see probably on the video, but see that little pencil line right there? I can see that in person pretty well. And I'm lining up the edge of the plate with the pencil line so that the part that is um, not covered by the top plate won't get any pressure on it and it won't cut through. So that is the partial die cutting technique here. The top part of this die cut is between the two cutting plates, so that will get cut. The bottom part is not between the plates, so it won't get cut. So I'm just gonna hold that together and I'm gonna crank it through my machine. Oops, sorry, I just bumped the camera while I did that. My apologies. And what you will get is this half cut die, which looks kind of funny, right, at this point. Um, you really don't know what it is, but you've got this half cut little top of the die. Now, let's bring back that large square 
from the stylus shapes and I'm just going to reposition it where we had it um, at the beginning and it's really easy to do because I still have my pencil line so I am lining it right up with my pencil line and I can also see my words in there and then I'm going to put that secure that with a little bit of post-it tape And I'm gonna do the same thing. Essentially, I am going to cover this, but I'm only covering the top and sides of the square. I don't want this bottom of the square to be cut at all. So let's go ahead and bring our machine back into the frame. Well, here, I'll start it from this side so I think you guys can see better. Side to side, is that a little better? Put this back into the frame and I'm going to slide my top plate in and then I'm going to bring it down just so that it is slightly above the, uh, the bottom edge. Hopefully you guys can see it okay, but I do not have the bottom edge of this square covered. That is exposed. This edge, this edge, and this edge are all underneath this top cutting plate, but this bottom edge is not under the cutting plate. So I'm just going to go ahead and crank that through. Okay, get my plates out of the way here. And then let's go ahead and zoom back in so you can see a little better and I'm going to take off my die carefully so that the post-it tape doesn't mess my paper up and all you need to do here is now to take a little craft knife and just sort of finish these little edges along my pencil line so let me grab knife and I don't even need a ruler or anything because it's just easy straight cuts and I'm just going to cut from the edge of the square to my word die cut and then between my word die cuts just along that pencil line and then again on this side and that's just going to free the interior of that square so that it pops right out like that. And then I can just erase my pencil line. So you can't see that anymore. And now I have this really cool partial die cut frame. So think about all the ways that you could use this. I mean, you could have a beautiful uh, floral image that kind of crept up the corner or both corners of a frame or something. Um, I chose to use words down here, but really any die cut that could go along the edge of a frame um, would be really beautiful to add some interest to that little window on the front of your card. So if we go back to my finished sample all I've done is die cut the words the skinny words from some of our gold uh, what is that gold glitter card pack called gold and rose gold metallic specialty paper so I use some of this and just die cut my skinny words from that and then I embellished uh, the other areas on the square with some flowers from that same bundle that I was using and then finish the card off with just a little scoring detail around the edges just to uh, mimic that frame. So I hope you like, oh and I put the pattern paper in the back as I showed you at the beginning. So I hope you like this technique and I hope you guys give it a try. I know it takes a few steps but it's way easier than it seems. Um, it's just die cutting and you get a really cool um, very custom looking effect that looks really nice and, and clean on the inside of your card too. So um, I hope you give it a try and I'd love to see your samples um, posted in the comments so that everyone can get more ideas.
Thanks very much. Have a great day.